Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. When Kim Tate from Emmerdale wants someone to vanish, that person usually does. She also wants Don's mother Rose to be gone as of yesterday. Rose is, in essence, living on borrowed time, but she is too naive to recognize it. When Rose told Don everything, Kim's original plan to take the easy route and offer her cash to leave failed. Instead of returning to Spain, Rose made her way to Kim's spare room and liquor cupboard. It appears that Kim is not the only one who is stuck with Rose. Rose is also determined to find a way into Kim's life. Rose spies a way in, determined to break Kim. When she meets Lydia, she is fascinated by the idea that she and Kim might be best friends. Rose is determined to learn more and uses her power at the same time. It works because when Kim returns home, Lydia and Rose are like best friends. And if Kim wasn't previously irritated, she is now. Kim will not back down from her ardent defense of her family. Rose correctly said, you don't like losing, do you, Kim? But rather than taking her own advice, Rose is going to have to find out the hard way. How is Kim going to make her vanish? Next week, Rona Goskirk and Marlon Dingle of Emmerdale will be struggling to rebuild their marriage. The pair, who almost parted ways over a tragic dinner party last week, have decided to fight for their future. While at Tom and Belle King's house socializing with friends, relatives, and co-workers, Rona made a drunken pledge to get rid of Marlon. Marlon was devastated by the circumstances, but he was relieved when Rona agreed to try marriage counseling after receiving some guidance from Patty Dangle. Rona and Marlona are going to their first counseling session next week. The two have a lot on their minds since Marlon finds it difficult to forgive Rona for the recent damaging testimony she gave in court about her ex-husband Gus Malcolms. Though Rona has maintained that it wasn't planned, he feels that she ought to have notified him. Sadly, despite Marlon and Rona's earlier optimism, the counseling session doesn't go well. Do their problems go beyond what they initially thought? When asked lately if she thought the pair could work things out, Rona's actress Zoe Henry responded, On a personal note, I very much hope so. But happiness doesn't come with any turmoil, does it? Keep an eye on this area. According to our Emmerdale spoilers, Manpreet tries to revive Ethan Anderson after he unexpectedly passes out. This occurs when Ethan worries about his legal case following his discovery that he crashed a car while driving Nikki. Ethan left Nikki in a coma and ran away from the scene, fearing he would be caught drunk driving. Then Ethan was hit and flogged by an unidentified assailant, leaving him bleeding and shattered in the street. Although Ethan made it through the attack, his health problems might have persisted. Is Ethan going to live? See our complete Emmerdale spoilers for this plot below. When Ethan overhears Ruby and Rose talking, he is taken aback. Rose tries to back out of their plot to destroy Kim as they converse. In an effort to make the most of his remaining hours of freedom, he confides in Charles about some worries he has regarding Don. He chooses to leave Don a voicemail after being prodded by his father. Can he give Don enough notice Manpree tries to revive the unconscious Ethan. Ethan and Charles have a deep chat as they get ready for court. Then Charles exits the room for a little while. Upon his return from the kitchen, Charles discovers Ethan unconscious and sprawled out on the floor. Charles's anxiety and worry intensify as Manpreet tries in vain to revive Ethan, and he is horrified to see that Ethan's heart appears to have stopped. Charles watches in horror, thinking the worst. Is Manpreet able to save Ethan? Don becomes worried after listening to Ethan's message in another place. Has anyone received Ethan's warning in time? Amid the couple's horrific abuse narrative, Bill Dingle is expected to lash out at Tom King, setting up some terrifying moments. Fans have witnessed Tom manipulating and isolating his partner, Bell 
as part of the coercive control plotline that the ITV soap opera is handling with the characters. The most recent occurrences took an even more tragic turn when Tom became violent, his filthy behavior having recently gotten worse and him having her underwatch. In later scenes, Belle promises to leave Tom with the town vet who will help him change his ways, and she forces him to receive assistance for his behavior. But later in the week, when he spins a terrible falsehood to keep Belle under his control, it's all part of Tom's evil plot. Tom deceitfully throws Belle under the bus during a doctor's appointment with Liam Cavanagh, claiming that Belle is the one having issues. Tom is fabricating a horrible fiction to suggest that Belle is controlling him violently, has behavioral problems, and is angry. Mandy and Lydia Dingle, back in the village, are concerned about Belle because she hasn't been herself and hasn't been returning their calls or texts. Later, when Belle finds out that Tom is lying to her, she is thrilled to hear that her husband's session with Liam went well. Meanwhile, Tom entertains the Dingles at dinner. Soon, Lisa Dingle's death anniversary will arrive, and Tom plans the day so that Belle stays behind to wait for a package for him instead of going to the picnic with Lydia and Sam in remembrance of Lisa. While Vanessa Woodfield and Rona Goskirk are preparing for Tom's performance review at work, Tom becomes enraged upon realizing that he would be receiving criticism because it is evident that he does not manage the review well. Tom becomes enraged when he finds out Belle didn't wait inside for his package. He accuses Belle of spoiling the day and says hurtful things about her mother. After months of Tom's disgusting behavior, Belle eventually loses it and pushes him over in the village, drawing blood from some of the shocked locals. Will Belle eventually break up with Tom for good and has her outspoken response supported Tom's story that she is the one having issues? Tom deceitfully throws Belle under the bus during a doctor's appointment with Liam Cabinet, claiming that Belle is the one having issues. Tom is fabricating a horrible fiction to suggest that Belle is controlling him violently, has behavioral problems, and is angry. Mandy and Lydia Dingle, back in the village, are concerned about Belle because she hasn't been herself and hasn't been returning their calls or texts. Later, when Belle finds out that Tom is lying to her, she is thrilled to hear that her husband's session with Liam went well. Meanwhile, Tom entertains the Dingles at dinner. Soon, Lisa Dingle's death anniversary will arrive, and Tom plans the day so that Belle stays behind to wait for a package for him instead of going to the picnic with Lydia and Sam in remembrance of Lisa. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.